Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see one scenario uh, which you guys only ask about uh, the EBS volume, EC2 EBS volumes that you're not able to extend the EBS volume. Okay, so let's see the scenario. So the scenario is not able to extend EC2 EBS volume uh, and you are getting error about the 6 hours error. Okay, so let's see what is that error first and then we'll uh, find a solution about that error and how to uh, rectify those. Okay, so even we'll see uh, what are uh, the state values, uh, ABS, how to check uh, the status check about the ABS volume. Okay, so everything we are going to check in this video. Okay, so let's start. If you still not subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned uh, for this technical uh, videos okay so let me start log into your aws account okay and select any account which you want to extend the volume okay and let's start okay so i have logged in into my aws account i went to volume section okay so let's see our scenario not able to extend ec2 ebs volume getting six hour error okay so this scenario when it will come okay so let's see that okay so i'm just modifying my volume okay so it is now 70 gb okay i'm expanding to 80 and clicking on the modify okay and let's go into server and extend the volume so i logged in into server let's refresh it and let's extend the volume okay so it was 70 now it is plus 10 so it will be 100 oh, sorry 80 next next finish okay so the my volume is 80 gb now let's go back to ec2 uh, volume and let's uh, try to add 5, 5 gb more and let's see if we are getting error or not so we came back and let's try to modify the volume again you can see the modify option itself is gray out okay so let's try after some time again meanwhile let's see the ebs features okay uh, how you identify your ebs health okay so there are basically four steps to identify okay warning impaired and insufficient data okay out of this four stage you can uh, watch your health of your ebs volume okay so let's see out here okay so you can see the status okay so here the volume status is okay okay so similarly you can also uh, configure uh, this status on your sns notification I also made a video on SNS. Okay, so you can also uh, check out there. And let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, so here are uh, the SSD state, right? Uh, so the volumes of our EBS volume, GP, uh, GP uh, two, GP three. These all are uh, SSD volumes. So while increasing, okay, ensure that you are selecting the correct way. You are not converting from GP two to GP three. You can see here guys I'm still not getting modify volume option okay so why I'm not getting modify volume options so because of the volume state is still optimizing okay so let's see this if you scroll little bit right you can see here the uh, volume is still optimizing so we have enabled 10 GB so it's still optimizing once it is 100% done then I will get uh, option to modify the volume okay and yeah, and there is also a uh, uh, error you will get if you not have your service quota enabled okay so i have made a specific video about how to enable the service quota about all the abs lambda uh, ec2 all those functions uh, which uh, need service quota okay if you guys don't know if you not seen that video i will add in the i section please go ahead and watch so basically the error which we were trying to see here okay we still not got modify options so if we got modify options then only we can see that 
so the optimization status is still 5% okay so let's see back okay so our scenario is not able to extend ec2 ebs volume getting 6 hour error so we can see now uh, the volume is optimized 18 percent okay so let's see what amazon basically trying to say about this trade okay so if if we see right whenever we extend the volume it's immediately uh, the volume get uh, credited expand on the server okay but how the backend process work okay so let's see what amazon is saying about all this process so see here in Microsoft documentation, uh, they have mentioned the uh, volume get modified immediately, but uh, need to wait at least six hours to modify volume again. Okay, so the answer of your questions, whoever asked, okay, you can modify volume one volume uh, immediately. Okay, but you need to wait at least six hours to modify the volume again because uh, uh, it's it will take six hours. To optimize the volume state okay so just now we seen so we seen here our volume is still optimizing if you refresh still the same so it will take around six hours to optimize uh, the state and after six hours we can uh, extend the volume again okay so check the service quota video and uh, remember guys uh, to answer your question okay you need to wait six hours to optimize the volume so if you are extending the volume of file server or any production server ensure that uh, take uh, prior uh, uh, prior information about how many data you how many gbs tbs you need to extend okay because if you start that process okay so you need to wait at least six hours to extend the same and one more thing uh, let me tell you one of the example okay so uh, what happened uh, one of our file servers so the requirement came to extend about 500 gb okay so after extending 500 gb okay immediately they said that they need uh, to add uh, 200 more gb because they were doing some testing okay so it was not possible so what we did we immediately uh, restored from EBS volume from our uh, backup we were taking a backup so we restored from backup uh, that drive and we extended uh, 700 GB on the spot and we uh, unmounted the existing volume okay so same thing uh, say, uh, similar like that you need to tackle the situation whenever you have uh, because if you go with uh, this optimization state it will take a longer time depend upon the size and everything uh, okay so yeah so uh, go ahead and try this okay in your lab or in your production servers and let me know if you have any questions okay so that's it for today uh, we'll meet you next week